What's up guys, Genius Pie Trap, and this is Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, Chapter 7. Actually, we're looking at the end of Chapter 6 right now, just because it kind of leads into Chapter 7. And she takes us away by the hand, all playing cutesy-cutesy with us. Little flirting going on. And, oh, she plants a smack around us. Now, see, that's the uh, trickery of women that little smooch there that you just saw, that little peck, is enough to just basically, you know, Big Brother's going to follow her to wherever now. Just that little tiny tease. Now, if a guy was to do that, probably just get slapped on the face. Oh, little brother. See, little brother does not understand what's at stake here. Big brother's just thinking women. Women, women, women. Little brother, you know, he he doesn't want to go down in the cave. He's probably scared. Looks all dark and spooky. But, like I said, big brother will do anything now. Yeah, man, it does look like a claustrophobic cave. Some kind of wormhole, maybe. Uh, looks like we got bodies, like, wrapped in a cocoon, maybe. Which would lead you to spiders, maybe? A spider den? Oh, I'm definitely thinking spiders. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's having seizures. Not good. Climbing on ceilings. Oh god. I think this is a trap. And there is a spider. Oh, she's the spider. That dirty, dirty bitch. See that? We just... That's... Oh man. And she tricked us. It was all with a... Just a kiss. Let us a fall. And now she's got us wrapped in a cocoon. Let it might I add the oddest cocoon I've ever seen in my life. It doesn't even make sense. It's like a perfect round ball that we can move freely in. I have never seen <laughs> a spider cocoon like so. But again, there's a lot of stuff in this game that makes zero sense. And we just swung free. Oh, let you know at this point. Oh no. God damn it. We should have just gave him little brother. Now big brother's in trouble. And little brother... Oh, I'm trying to save it with little brother here. And little brother can't do shit. God. Right. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, and she shows a leg. I'm going to pull it here, I guess. I don't know if I have to use little brother to help. Oh. <laughs> Gross. Alright, I think I see what we got to do here. There we go. Hit her with the ball. Or the cocoon, I should say. Pull another. Oh. That does kind of make me hungry for crab legs, though. Which are delicious. Spider legs, I'm not so sure of. Okay. So far, this might be the easiest boss battle in the history of boss battles. Alright, she's got four legs left. <laughs> she just... I like how she just extends one for us. What, what is up with that? Look, she can barely walk around now. That's sad. You know, it's hard to feel sorry for her, though, as she tried to kill us and eat us. Even after we saved her from the ritual, you know, we should have just let her be sacrificed. Oh, no! No! Oh! Damn her! Damn her! That wasn't supposed to happen. Uh-oh, Dad senses something. That's right, God damn it, Dad, get off your goddamn ass and save these boys. You can take some NyQuil and frickin' get out there. 
Oh, no, the wizard won't let him. <laughs> what? Oh, this is the worst doctor in the world. No, please, just lay back down on this hard board. <laughs> no, you must lay down on this hard board. Oh. A real dad would, uh, ch you know, chase his sons to the corner of the earth to save them. All right, it's not looking good. Now we really need to find the water of life, not only to save Big Brother, but save Dad as well. Oh, great. So now we got avalanches going on. This is kind of a neat scene. Looks like a giant uh, weeping willow tree. I, I think there's a lot of other trees like it, but where I'm from, the only tree we have similar to that is a, called a weeping willow tree. Awesome trees. Fond memories of weeping willow trees. I grew up spending a lot of time at my grandmother's house who had a weeping willow tree and a lot of, a lot of time swinging from the branches and stuff like that, playing underneath it and, you know, just somewhere to hang out as a little kid. Had a tree fort up in it. Friends would, you know, Come over and we just just swing from branches and play in the play in that tree forever. And he's telling little brother to go on. Which yes, damn it, little brother, you have to do something your freaking self for a change. With Oak Big Brother's help. If Little Brother takes any breaks to do some stupid shit, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, looks like we're actually inside the tree now. Which is not looking too healthy if it's hollow like that. Odd route we're taking here. Thankfully, there's some sort of vine, I guess, to climb up. I'm surprised we're. Oh, we have a giant nest. Okay. Um, Alright, let's just keep on going, I guess. Oh, and this must be it the fountain of the life water. Finally. Right, do we have something to put the water in? I hope so, otherwise they came very, very ill-prepared. <laughs> this little, little, it looks like a little Gatorade bottle. Now, God damn it! Well, and why not drink some yourself? Drink some yourself first, then bring it to brother. Like, what, hap what happens if something happens and you're trying to bring the water to little brother? Or big brother? Oh god. Oh yeah, let's just jump down this frickin' hole without taking the life water first. Oh god. Just give him the goddamn water. Give him the water! Oh, 
There you go. Make him drink it. Uh, pound on his chest. There we go. Harder. Harder, little brother. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Ah, oh, crying isn't gonna get you anywhere. Pound on his chest. Oh god. You know... why this game have to turn all sad? I mean, it's kind of, it was kind of sad in some other places, but... Wait a minute. Just close to Big Brother. Damn. You know, that's. That is tough. Gotta feel for the kid. Ah, oh, damn. So he's digging his little brother or his big brother's grave. Now that's gotta be I couldn't even imagine doing something like that. I've had to bury a pet before, and that totally sucks. It's like the worst. I couldn't imagine even being in this situation for your for a brother, or, you know, another loved human being. Just terrible stuff. You know, I'll be honest here. Oh, Jesus. What kind of dirt is that? It just comes in a clump and liquefies. Anyway, uh, man, if I was in this situation, I'd have no idea what I'd do here. First of all, I'd be losing my goddamn mind. Second of all, I don't know if I would take the time to actually bury my brother or try to book my ass home, which is a long ass frickin' journey. To try to save my dad and come back for the brother, for big brother. I suppose you don't want him, want him to be ate by a wild animal or some crazy shit like that. And the magic dirt fills up the grave. Man, sad stuff. I cannot see how this game is possibly going to have a happy ending now. I like happy endings. Everyone likes happy endings. Oh, wait a minute. We got the griffin back. 
Good as new, too. Seeing off the, the, the griffin who we thought died. I mean, I guess we just assumed it, the griffin died. Again, if that's not a griffin, someone correct me, but I don't know what... I think the closest thing it would be is a griffin. Um, if, if the griffin can come back to life, possibly the brother, I don't know. Well, the brother's buried. It ain't good either way. Alright, I hope we have some of that life water left. Oh, thank God we got a ride. There you go, past the castle. Hope the griffin drops us off right by dear old dad. Griffins uh, apparently are not like crows, because crows, if you hear the term how a crow, or where the crow flies, that means it's like a straight line. Not the griffin, he follows a waggity ass path. And that's the end of chapter 7. Stay tuned, guys, for the epilogue, the ending of the game. Genius Pie Trap, over and out, later. Bye.